welcome to part 2 of Mortal Kombat 11, and in the last part, Sonya sacrificed her life, only for it to be in vain because Kronika's here to ruin everything. The sands of time guide the destiny of the realms and every soul therein. I've carefully crafted them to keep the realms in balance. But my work's perfection has been irreversibly tainted by Raiden's actions. Two of you have felt that pain most acutely. What can be done? The past is the past, is it not? It need not be. I intend to wind time back to its beginning and restart history. But even with my vast power, I cannot create this new era alone. How will this new era be different? In many ways. But most importantly, there will be no Raiden. How do we begin? Escaped my justice. Sucked dry the bounty of Outworld's people. Today, your debt is paid. Kill me, Kotal, and you lose profit. You mistake me for Shao Kahn. I do not inflict bandits upon the poor. Shao Kahn approved. His word was law. Your master is dead. So is his law. Never again will Outworld suffer from his corruption.
proof that the writing in this game is very sloppy, they not only just erased Dark Raiden, but brought back not only the past self of Raiden, but the past self of all the Revenants, on top of bringing back Shao Kahn and his flunkies. By the way, that reminds me, where's past Kotal Kahn? He should probably show up somewhere in this area. But no, that would mean it would be competent. Raiden? Shao Kahn? General Kotal? Kotal Khan. Khan? Pathetic fool! You pretend to my throne! It is mine, by right and deed. You were killed long ago, as was your repugnant spawn, Melina. We were at the Mortal Kombat Tournament. Kung Lao had just defeated Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. We are decades beyond those events. For us, they happened only moments ago. What game are you playing, Raiden? What magic powers this delusion? If it is a delusion, it is one we all share. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? Katana, Baraka, Scarlet, all outworld champions long since gone. If you have all returned, has... I am here, Kotal. Jade. Ashtek custom requires all refugees be offered assistance. I offer it to you, Shao Kahn. I am no refugee. I am Khan of Outworld. Vacate my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. <laughs> We do. I have not met Kodal, but he is reputed to be a man of honor. It's true. I know him well. Then we must navigate this crisis by aiding him. Takatans are dead. Impossible. They allied with Melina against me. Persist, and you will die again. All right, Kotal Khan. Mostly, he has changed as far as having the ability to now put his sunlight right in the path of the enemy where he can heal and they can take burn damage, residual burn damage. More importantly, his disc is back. He has his command counter that you saw there with the hooks. Also, he has his sword that now does a shockwave. And also his paddle will, all, will, will actually slice into the opponent. That's pretty much the only thing new. And yeah, he has the command grab where he grabs you and uh, burns you into the sun. But he now has the ability to transform into a jaguar like so. Reminiscent of Kung Lao, by the way. <clears throat> And he still has his totems. Too bad his totems are a different variation. So, um... There's not much to say about Kotal except... He hasn't changed at all. And he's still the uh, anti-villain that teeter-totters between villain 
and hero. Despite the crappy writing that is in this game. And making a good return is Baraka. While Baraka has most of his moves back from just about every game he's in, he now has a knee that causes a crushing blow every time he hits it. That's the only thing new, and by the way, it's based off of Mortal Kombat X. Filthy Tarkatan. turned assassin. Better to thrive in Shao Kahn's court than starve in the streets. You, Oshtek, may practice blood magic, Koto, but I am the master. Scarlet, what have they done to you? She was pretty much one of my favorite characters. I mean, she still is, but they definitely screwed the pooch with this one. Um... Normally, Scarlet would actually take some damage to fire a projectile that actually goes through blocks. But now, she has a blood whip. Now, she could actually cause blood rain, which will hurt the opponent, but actually heal her. And, of course, that command grab that she just did. They gave Scarlet more command grabs. And whilst it's nice to see Scarlet in the story... The only thing they talk about for Scarlet is privilege. Nothing more. That's pretty one-dimensional. I know she's an orphan, but uh, the only one-dimensional thing you can tell is talk about how she was so poor and the game keep reminding you about privilege. Yeah, that's the lazy writers at work. Never mind the fact that she lost her legs when fighting against Molina in the comics. They don't bring that up. Pride will be your downfall. Kodo. Again, another thing that the writers add. Not once if they have alluded to Jade having a boyfriend, nor Kodo Khan. I mean, if they would have put him in Mortal Kombat 9, that would have been all well and good. But everybody from Mortal Kombat 3 came in in Mortal Kombat 9. Kodo was never in 3, nor mentioned. So this is just shoehorned in. And it sucks. I thought you were dead. What happened to you? Shao Kahn betrayed me. Ambushed my leader. I was kept alive for Shang Tsung's experiments. Only when he died was I freed. Seeing you again makes it worth living this nightmare. I will not lose you twice. Go help the Earth Realms. I will deal with this. Your future self is ally, not enemy, Aaron Black. <laughs> to hell with the future. I live in the moment. Given who you become, I would not have thought you so reckless. To be fair, the comics already alluded to Aaron Black being a part of the Black Dragon. Slightly, but then again, that's giving Sean Kittleson some credit. Anyway, Aaron Black. He got nerfed too. He's one of he's actually my favorite character in, in MKX, but uh they nerfed him badly. He still got the slide, he still got the gun. However, now he has a shotgun that's slower to reload than the pistols themselves. And that's another thing. While the gun can be used to pretty much counter air and counter sweeps, he only has got a limited amount of bullets, and on top of that, until you reload, you're pretty much a sitting duck. Yet, unfortunately, Jackie Briggs did not get nerfed, so there you go. Oh, and he no longer has the sand bombs, neither, but he can throw sand in your face. He still has the Tarkatan Blade, at least. Oh, and now that sand bomb has been replaced with Reptile's Acid Spit, where 
you will practically be stepping in it and take residual damage, but Aaron Black will actually take damage as well, now that I think about it. Oh, and he also has a TNT as well. Forgot about that. And it's a brutality for him. Outworld rejected your pointless wars. Empires must expand or die. Serves you alone, not Outworld's people. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. The main thing that sold me on the game was the fatalities and Shao Kahn. And that could be said for a lot of people. And they politicized him too. One of his intro, uh, yeah, one of his intro dialogue is make Outworld great again. Yeah, that shows just how competent the writers really are. And as far as Shao Kahn's gameplay is concerned, Shao Kahn is physically the strongest character in the game. And he only managed to get three hits, and he literally took 45% of my health. God forbid if he's able to do a combo. That would not be well for me. Because yes, he is a boss character. Shao Kahn has a lot of rushdown, and on top of that, his hammer does a good number of damage. He has his um He has his spear and he also taunts. Unfortunately the taunt is not a buff. The taunt basically just is there for you to do. And I'm trying to beat him before he beats me. And oh yeah, some of his moves when meter burn has armor. Yes, super armor is back. And it does not take off from that bar on the left hand on the lower right on the upper right hand side of the thing you know that bar right there that's for super armor you are con no more Four. ew devora's back she should have stayed gone. I have not known stranger days. Kotal Khan, I am Raiden, protector of Earthrealm. I know you. We are acquainted in your era. We were allies who became enemies. I am surprised, given our shared antipathy toward Shao Kahn. Everything changed after your defeat of Shinnok. Shinnok's defeated? Our realms joined to fight him. You guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> Have you literally forgot about Jackie's chapter? How he tried to sell out Earthrealm just to buy time for Outworld to Shinnok. Seriously, you guys are terrible fucking writers. Netherrealm sucks at continuity. But in victory, you were hardened. To protect Earthrealm, you lashed out at all realms you deemed threats. That cannot be. My Raiden wears Shinnok's amulet as a symbol of his fury. Be assured, Kotal Khan, I am not that Raiden. We have common cause, both in solving this temporal crisis and in defeating Shao Kahn. Agreed. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and I will return to Earthrealm and learn what temporal anomalies have occurred there. We must better understand the phenomenon we are experiencing. I will have my scouts track Shao Kahn. So, this is goodbye. Only goodbye for now. I can't leave while Shao Kahn threatens Outworld. I must seek justice for what he did to my family, and to all Adinia. I will come back for you, to aid you, Princess.
questions, Devora. I routed your people, burned this hive, yet you aid me. We can't trust her, Excellency. Kotar Khan did, and she betrayed him to Shinnok. Kotar Khan. How is it I'm dead, and he sits on my throne? You tried merging Earthrealm into Outworld. The Elder Gods intervened, and Raiden killed you. That's when Melina became Khan. After this one killed your daughter, Koto claimed the throne. You killed Melina? If this is true, you will die! Devora is under my protection, Shao Kahn. As are you. I am Kronika. The legends are true? I am displeased with how history has unfolded. So you broke time? I stopped time. I enlist all those who disdain the current course of history. By merging past and present, we may draw upon allies from both eras. How will fighting your battles benefit me? I offer a greater empire in the new era, Shao Kahn. Raiden will not exist to thwart you. You can wipe Raiden from history? It is an immense task, requiring great power and effort. My hourglass requires protection while I work. Will your Outworld armies defend it? They shall. And we're going to end it here. In the next episode of Mortal Kombat 11, I'm going to be playing as Johnny Cage, who ironically started MK9 and MKX. And God have mercy, if you thought Shao Kahn needed to be nerfed, Johnny Cage, oh, that's a whole can of worms. And probably he's the only good thing about this story until the end of his chapter. See you guys next time.